lovely colouring friends, my name is Amanda and this is my channel Amanda Colours. I am here with a fun video today. I am going to be sharing with you my full collection of Disney colouring books. Um, it's not a massive pile but it's a decent pile so I hope that you enjoy taking a little look at all my um, Disney books. I won't be doing full flip throughs, I'll be doing quick little flip throughs. Uh, but as always, if there is anything you would like to see a full flip through of, just leave it as a comment below and I will try and get that done for you. So, my little random fact for this video is actually kind of a two for one and it is Disney related. Um, so, Walt Disney actually never drew Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse wasn't his illustration, it was um, someone else's but he did do the voice for Mickey Mouse. So there you go, lots of fun. So let's get into it. Now I'm going to start off with my biggest two books. I don't know if I am even going to be able to get them all in. Yes, I can. So first up is Vitro. It is a stained glass book. It is a hard cover. It's like a really thick card board cover. It has a hundred um, coloring pages. It's by Art Therapy and Hatchet Heroes and I've done hardly anything in this book. There's some little versions of the pages at the back that you can use as note cards and then it's broken into sections. There's one I have done. But yeah, lots of fun. I've discovered I really enjoy doing um, the stained glass pages so I'll have to do more of that one uh, and next up is this huge A3 watercolour pad that has um, Alice in Wonderland characters on beautiful watercolour paper this one was purchased from the Aldi supermarket here in Australia, so it was kind of a limited time thing. I haven't found it anywhere else online um, for sale, so unfortunately it's not really available to everybody. And I'm going to try putting these back on my shelf as I go to um, keep things a bit organised. So next up, I need to zoom back in oops wrong way is uh, this one here which uh, was gifted to me um, it was also originally available at Aldi um, so it's no longer available as far as I know um, but these are little greeting cards um, on watercolor paper that have uh, different Disney princesses for you to color or paint that one's a bit of fun as well. Then I have this Disney Vintage coloring book. Again, it's a hard cover book with a really thick cardboard cover. I actually haven't colored anything in here. Um, so I need to do that at some point, but as you can imagine, it's all vintage Disney. So all Mickey and friends. Lots of fun. Next up is uh, Boule de Puy, which is fur balls. Um, most of these books are by Hatchet Heroes. Um, and I'll have links to everything that is linkable <laughs> in the description. Um, so yes, this translates to hair balls or fur balls. Um, and I have done, I think just one in here, which is the Cheshire Cat, but lots of great images in here of animals from Disney movies. Then this one is a fairly new one to me. It is the large squares, that's what Le Grand Carré, or however you say it, um, means the large squares portraits there are a number of different portraits books in different formats so this is the large squares one 
and it has portraits of all different Disney characters, right up to fairly recent ones. Um, and I have covered the introduction page. <laughs> Then we have Brothers and Sisters. And as you can imagine, it's all brothers and sisters from Disney movies. I have marked a number of pages in here that have mermaids for mermaid. And you can see those specific pages in my mermaid planning video, which I will link up in the description. Then we have It's a Party, and these are all celebration or happy or fun scenes from all different movies. Um, then we have a um, one of the Pixel mystery color by number books this is princesses and fairies and um so you can see their little squares and you've got your color key at the top but if you don't want to see the um the solutions please look away but it includes some great characters fairies and princesses lots of fun Okay, I have that closed if you were looking away. Uh, then we have, I'm trying to do this in some sort of order, but I don't have them in order on my desk. Oh, so back with the, um, the other watercolor books from Aldi is this Winnie the Pooh pad. And again, it's on beautiful watercolor paper. You get two of each image. And unfortunately, it's not available any longer. Then we have a Japanese uh, Disney book that I purchased through Etsy. Um, and it's all Winnie the Pooh, who, as you may know, is one of my favorite characters. There's little postcards at the back. And then it's this beautiful, sketchy style that I just love. Um, well, actually, it's a range, but um, it's been a while since I've looked in this book. I haven't colored in it yet, so I need to do that. But yeah, really cute. And then there's different tips on um, how to color as well in the front. Then we have some of my uh, cheaper Disney books. Uh, so this one is um, Disney Princesses. Um, I haven't been able to find this anywhere that's online that's international. It seems to only be available in Australia. It is published by Scholastic. Um, but it's broken up into sections of um, different princesses. And there's a title page with a quote from each princess and these beautiful sketchy style illustrations. And then there's illustrations that are more cartoon style um, from each movie. So there's Tiana, there's Snow White, Rapunzel, Pocahontas, Mulan, Moana, Jasmine, Cinderella, Belle, Ariel, and more. <laughs> then we have another one that I purchased from Kmart here in Australia. It is the Disney Stained Glass Coloring Book. Um, and it has some of the same images as in vitro, but it is, there are other like different images as well. Um, and it is a smaller size book, which makes it a little bit more, um, a little less like 
clumsy to be coloring. Uh, have I done anything in here? Yes, I think I have. I think I did one, yes, that one there from Fantasia. But yeah, whole range of different movies covered in this book which is a whole lot of fun. And another Winnie the Pooh coloring book because you just cannot have enough. Um, and this one I think is available on Amazon. Um, I haven't done anything in here yet, uh, but this has a variety of pages. Um, there are some more paper pages that, you know, I don't absolutely love, but there are also some really cute pages like this or even this one it is a wallpaper page but it's just his face and it's very cute so um there's a variety of different styles for whatever may take your fancy then we have bunny's ultimate coloring book i purchased this quite a number of years ago and i think i've only done one page in here but it is just all the adorable bunnies um, that are drawn in the same style as Thumper from Bambi. And it's just, I think that's the only page I've done. Um, it's just adorable. I need to get back to it and color more. As I said, as far as I can, I will make uh, leave links in the description um, for all of these books. And another Winnie the Pooh book the splendid coloring book and this one actually has a bit of a story through it it is super thin like newspaper paper it's really not the best paper um and i haven't done much coloring in here but i have colored some and um obviously you can see the markers come through um but i just love coloring with markers so i probably will still color and just sacrifice a page here and there. But uh, yeah, just so cute. I love Pooh Bear. Another one that I bought fairly recently because I didn't really have um, any Encanto um, coloring pages. Uh, so I bought this one, it was only like $2 from Kmart or something like that. And it just has a bunch of pages from the movie. I don't like Abuela. She's not very nice. So there's that one. And then I also bought this one on recommendation from um, Nikki at Knickknack Colors 78 um, on Instagram this was another very inexpensive book um and it's to celebrate disney's 100 years um and it has a whole bunch of characters all in this beautiful sketchy style that i love so thanks for the recommendation nikki super cute then, oh, before I forgot to show you when I was showing you my other pixel book, um, there is the Disney Girl Power Pixel Magic book. And this is one of my books that I'm focusing on this year. So um, I have colored quite a few pages in here, um, which I can show you. I did just do an update on my focus on books. So you can see that up in the eye cards. Um, but yeah, just all female characters from Disney movies um, in a pixelated style, which I really love. And I haven't finished that one yet, just started that last night. Um, but I think I'm a little bit more than halfway, or maybe I'm about halfway. So that is a really fun book. Then we go into our larger um, colour by number books. Um, I have the Under the Ocean book. And again, um, look away if you don't want to see the um, solutions because that's the only way I can show you the pages in the book because otherwise they're just blank. 
So, as you can imagine, it is all sea themed under the sea, all that kind of thing. These ones seem to be much more detailed than the other ones. Some of the other books. Anyway, um, and they seem to use lots of colors. So I have finished showing the solutions if you have looked away. Then we have, this is actually the first one that I bought, the best of the Grand Classics. Um, color by number and um, because I wanted to get a feel for the books um, yes so again look away now if you don't want to see the solutions but this is pages from a lot of the different um, grand classic volumes of these color by number books oops So I'm going to close that up now. And a few more. Then we have the Grand Classics Volume 5. I saw this on um, Danny Button's channel and I saw that there are a lot of Winnie the Pooh pages. So that's why I bought this specific volume. Um, and I'm going to show the solution. So please look away if you don't want to see. So yeah, you can see there's quite a number of Winnie the Pooh characters in this one. But as I said, I'm not doing full flip throughs, just show you a few. So that's volume five. And then the last color by number Disney book I have is this animals coloring book which are all animals from disney movies and again i'm going to show the solutions so they're from a whole range of movies but yes animals from the disney movies okay and the very last book is one of my favorites and it's the smallest and it is the um, small squares Disney portraits um, and it has lots of portraits um, and at the back it has some pages that you could rip out and use as notepaper if you would like um, but yeah I color a number in here every month and it's a whole lot of fun. I really like using my ink tense pencils in here because um, they work quite well. Like how good does that look? But yeah, so that is all of my Disney coloring books. As I said, it's like a decent amount, but it's not a huge collection like I know a lot of people have. Um, but I hope you enjoyed seeing it. And if you did, please give the video a thumbs up um, and leave a comment below as to um, what you thought of this video and if you have any questions about any of the books. Um, it would also be great if you wanted to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already. Um, we are becoming quite a lovely little community here. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found it interesting and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.